I'm Andy. I'm Melissa. And I'm Jack. And together we've spent the last year restoring our steel sailing yacht. Over the last year we've done most of the big metal work and welding. Most of the painting. And over this winter we're working on whatever jobs we can fit around the terrible weather here in North Wales. Once she's ready to float, we'll be setting off to sail around the world as a family. Come along with us on this epic journey. It's a kind of British tradition, isn't it, to complain about the weather. So, um, true to form, I'm going to start today's episode by complaining about the flipping weather. I've come down to the boat and look, it's beautiful and sunny and there's blue skies and fluffy white clouds. Little fluffy clouds, do you remember that? Um, uh, but there's showers and I was, uh, I'm planning to do some welding and some metal work and I am still going to go ahead with that. I've just got to think a little bit more carefully about how I go about it because I don't want to be caught out in a rain shower with a welder in one hand or a plasma cutter in the other. So um, typical other British tradition, I'm going to start with a cup of tea. But while the tea's brewing and the sun is shining, let me show you what I'm actually planning to do um, to this part of the boat. Uh, for a long time, what we've been concerned about um, is this area here, where there's a lot of rust around the bottom of the companionway doors, hatches, washboards, whatever you want to call them. And what we're planning to do is install a bridge deck across here, across this area here, extending into the door, reduce the height of these washboards. They are, they are opening washboards as you can see, but they do lift off the hinges. I can't do it with one hand, but they lift off as well. So they kind of double up as washboards and opening doors, which I think is really, really cool. I'm going to make new ones, of course, because they're all old and had their, had their best day. So my plan is to extend uh, a piece of steel across here, which is big enough for you to put your legs up on like that, um, and uh, prevents if the cockpit fills with water, if we get pooped, it prevents it flooding into uh, through the companionway and down into the pilot house. Um, and at this, uh, in the same stroke, deals with all of that horrible rusty steel. If that wasn't rusty, I probably wouldn't do the modification. But because I'm chopping it out anyway and it's all rusty, I may as well modify it to something a little bit more blue water suitable. Allow me to show you what we're actually looking at down here then. This section here of the floor lifts out completely. I, uh, there's no latches on it, so I will be putting latches on. All of these frameworks are there purely to support the boards that were in the lazarettes. So, what have we got here? This is the area that I'm talking about, that I'm going to be cutting away. Um, above that, it's just, I mean, this is only surface rust anyway, but this isn't. So this has got to go. So I'm going to start uh, by putting in the deck bit on the outside, I think. See what I mean about those boards? These hinges are great and I'm definitely going to be reusing them. So I think I'm going to make it in two sections. One that comes across to join the two seats and then the other section which goes into the companionway. I'm going to use my old phone board, friend the phone board rather, to, uh, to template this because I can draw on it, I can cut it with a Stanley knife. Um, now what do you think? I think that's a fairly comfy seating position. Um, and it means that you could, <laughs> you can lounge here quite nicely actually. <laughs>
I just sent Melissa a couple of pictures of this in place and she says, can we make it a bit smaller? Because it's taking up a little bit too much room in the cockpit. And I feel like whoever's sitting here, obviously you've got the pedestal here. Oh, you've got the pedestal there, haven't you? This would be the emergency tiller. So this would be a great place to sit to steer if you had to use the emergency tiller. Um, but uh, we can afford to make this just a little bit narrower, I think, and still have enough room to get your legs on. To, to sit comfortably so I think yeah I'm just gonna grab the plasma cutter and trim this down and just snip those two welds off and there's another reason why tack it in place first don't commit yourself now I'll try sitting on this without burning my bum it's actually not that hot, that's the lovely thing about the plasma cutter, it doesn't actually get metal scalding hot. So we've now got room to sit this side. Obviously I can sit this side and if I did need to sit here, there's the emergency tiller post, I can sit here and use the emergency tiller without this clattering into my knee. That's better. Right, now I can cut this piece. It has come up with a new sign on it. It says E double R. I'm not sure if that means error or just what my brain is thinking every time I look at some of these angles. I think it's just saying, uh... Okay, do you want to have a look where we're up to so far? I'm not sure if you can see that. It's a bit more enclosed. By the time we've got the transom boards in, we're going to have some washboards in the transom. This will be a really safe, tidy, enclosed cockpit. Well, look at this for a beautiful morning. I've got some dust sheets up here uh, because I'm going to be cutting out all of under there <laughs> today. Um, so that's going to create an awful lot of dust in the boat. Uh, yesterday was mostly, of course, working outside. Have a look at this. It's just beautiful out here. Not a breath. Well, there you go. There's me coming outside to say not a breath of wind, and there is a breath of wind. But uh, on dawn song there, can you see the wind turbine just, just creeping round? It's absolutely fine. And uh, most of the work that we've got to do today is inside, so I'm sure we'll be absolutely fine. First job of the day, though, is to start cutting away that um, uh, the inside underneath the bit that I welded in yesterday. I do want to um, finish welding this up as well, but it's a bit dewy and wet still. I'll probably be all right actually. Probably be okay to weld that, and I might be better off doing that now while before the wind picks up. Yeah, let's do that. Let's weld that first. Okay, slight change of plan. I was going to work inside, I'm going to work outside. Because when I came out earlier, this was all soaking wet with the dew. But it's okay now, I think. Right. I managed to lift the welder up onto the bathing platform, onto that platform thing I've got at the back. <sighs> Flipping heck. This is, again, the problem I've got. Doing anything physical like that. I managed to lift it up there, but then I had to catch my breath. It took me 20 minutes to get my breath back. So, it's fine. Just can't, uh, it's frustrating not being able to just do something like that and then plow on as I would have done previously. I'm pretty much set up for welding, but something keeps staring at me and it's this. Now this, this is the bit that I chopped off my new bowsprit and I just want to double check how easily it goes into the old bowsprit tube. There's the old one and there's the new one. Oh, that's lovely. That just, that will slide in there absolutely perfectly. So you can see how that's going to work. That's the full depth, which is 50 centimetres, 20 inches. So we can get half a metre, almost two feet, 
20 inches of the new tube going inside the old one. <sighs> oh, this is silly. It's so crazy how quickly I get out of breath. I'm not, I'm not whinging by the way. There are bigger and more important things going on in the world right now than me getting a bit breathless walking backwards and forwards on the boat. Uh, so please don't think I'm, uh, I'm unaware or, or unsympathetic or anything like that. I'm just explaining why the pace of things is a bit slow at the moment for our viewers. But uh, yeah, we're like everybody else, just baffled and sad about everything that's going on at the moment. But uh, onwards and upwards, hey, let's get some welding done. <laughs> you know the old floor cut that out um, underneath this bridge deck but it's just beautiful and there's a couple of bits of welding that I've been meaning to do since last summer so a few people have said if you're sitting here uh, uh, on the helm and a big wave comes along the side deck it can't actually because there's a big step up on the side deck but if we got some water on this bit of the side deck it would just pour into the cockpit so I want to kind of take a piece of steel from here round to kind of enclose it more and the same the other side keep it reasonably low so it's not in the way of this cleat but just as a bit of a you know um, a, some protection for the helmsman so I'm half tempted just to keep welding on the outside because next week the weather's due to be terrible again but I can do all the cutting out from the inside when it's raining can't I so uh, perhaps a little change of plan today I think Here's my basic principle. A bit of a lip on the top, so you've not got a sharp edge. Even somewhere to put your winch handle or your cup of coffee or... It does mean that this is then protected. This will have a kind of a lip over the top, so I might even put a vent in there. Right, it's time to go. I'm gonna paint my way, I've painted most of it actually, I've just left the step, step that I'm gonna step on. So I'm gonna paint my way out of there. Um, and I'm all clean and, or more or less clean and ready to go and I don't wanna get paint on my hands. So I'm gonna use one of these pink marigolds from Reese. Um, uh, Reese had a boat in the yard here and he, he dropped us a load of marigolds round when he left, which was very kind of him. Thank you very much, Reese. Hi, Reese. Um, so we have a bridge deck, we have some extended combings. Uh, she's turning into a blue water boat. Very exciting stuff coming in the next episode, so make sure that you tune in because we've got Nigel, the welder, coming to uh, poor scorn. No, I know, he's not like that. Coming to, um, to have a look at the welding that I've done and to do some proper welding on the boat. Anyway, um, thanks again for watching. It's been, it's been fun. <laughs> I'm exhausted uh, and I'll see you all next time. Make sure you like and comment and subscribe and all of that stuff. Bye. Mm -hmm.